Amsum had been waiting for this beach trip all week. He had packed his snorkeling goggles, his favorite towel with a <laughs> rocket ship on it, and an entire bag of cheese crackers for post-swim snacking. The sky was wide and blue, the sand warm and soft under his toes, and the ocean looked like a giant playground just waiting for adventure. He had dashed into the waves, fearless and full of energy, ready to explore every rock and ripple the sea had to offer. The water had been calm, just a little wavy, and it shimmered in the sunlight. Omsum had floated on his back for a while, watching the clouds drift above like slow-moving ships. Then he had ducked beneath the surface, swimming with wide eyes, hoping to spot fish or shiny shells. Everything was perfect until something brushed against his leg. It didn't feel sharp or rough, just a soft, slippery kind of touch. But then came the sting. It was sudden and hot, like a thousand tiny needles poking all at once, spreading quickly across his skin. Omsum had gasped and stumbled out of the water, the pain surprising and strange. Now, sitting in the sun, he tried to figure out what had happened. There were no sharp rocks where he had been swimming, and he hadn't seen any fish big enough to nibble. All he could remember was that soft brush against his leg and the sting that followed. He had heard people talk about jellyfish before, those odd creatures that looked like floating umbrellas or squishy pancakes with long trailing ribbons. He had never thought much about them until now. What he didn't know, but was about to learn, was that jellyfish are one of the oldest creatures in the ocean. They have no bones, no brains, and no hearts. Yet they've been drifting through the seas for hundreds of millions of years. They are built to float, to pulse gently through the water with their bell-shaped bodies and their long, wavy tentacles trailing behind them like streamers. These tentacles are where the magic and the sting happens. All along each tentacle are tiny cells called nematocysts. These cells are so small that they can't be seen with the eye, but they hold powerful surprises. Each one is like a microscopic spring-loaded harpoon curled up inside a tiny capsule. When something touches the tentacle, even the lightest bump, these harpoons shoot out faster than a blink, piercing whatever made contact. As Omsum looked at the red mark on his leg, he felt the sting still buzzing faintly beneath his skin. It wasn't as painful now, just a tingle that reminded him how strange and wild the ocean could be.